This is my fourth season of raising baby turtles and each season I do feel a little bit sad when I let them go uh, but I know that I'll be out looking for them again in the following season. And it's been pretty exciting this year because I've been starting to see two and three year olds thriving in the wild so it, it makes me feel that it's all worth it and I'm happy to let them go. I have now completed all of my field work for my PhD, uh, however the turtle rearing program will be uh, expanded upon next year. So next season we're planning to produce 2,000 hatchlings and they'll be going back into the waterways. Northern Tablelands Local Land Services manages the overarching Turtles Forever project. We initiated the project by bringing a consortium of specialists together. The project is supported by the New South Wales Environmental Trust. It's part of a, what they call a partnership grant program and the whole purpose was to bring a, a consortium of partners together with all different expertise. When the project started, I was interested in turtles. But I must admit, the thing I really like about the project is working with all the different people, the ecologists and researchers and the landowners who are so passionate themselves about their properties and the river. And so having this collaboration, it provides a sort of a synergy where you get all these different thoughts and minds coming together for the one purpose of trying to conserve the turtles. One of the most surprising things I've found during my study has been putting tiny little turtles into the river and then a flood event happening and me coming back and being able to find those little hatchlings, expecting that they would have been washed downstream, but they'd, they'd tucked themselves away somewhere and they were still there when I came back. People just love turtles. They're so charismatic, you know. Um, with their shell and so on, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and things. But above and beyond that, the story that uh, Lou and others have discovered here, you know, it's like a overcoming adversity to, against the foxes eating the nests, the floods and the droughts. Turtles are surviving all that and we're going to, you know, save the species. Over the whole process, I think the most enjoyable thing, besides working with baby turtles, has been just working with such a collaborative group of researchers, ecologists, funding bodies, everybody working with the same goal in mind and that's to secure a future for an endangered turtle. So we want these turtles to be around for a hundred or more years um, and I think we're, we're heading in the right direction.